Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm in Hollitsville, uh, Texas. Uh, uh, the guys here at the Morton gas slash truck slash diner stop uh, was nice enough to let me park in the back. And, uh, and it was a okay night's sleep. I didn't get to sleep right away because I slept late yesterday and I slept good yesterday. I guess I needed it, but I couldn't get to sleep last night. So didn't get as much sleep but maybe I'll go to sleep earlier tonight. Yeah. Uh. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle Raising money, making friends Seeing the country into it And Lone Star Rider Anyhow, today I'm headed, which I think is day six of my South Texas run. I'm headed over to Sweet Home, Texas, and I'm going through Mount Olive, then the Shiner, and then I'm going to do the uh, brewery tour there at noon, which will be pretty cool. I don't know if I'll stay in uh, Shiner or not, or which way. I'll probably head south from there. Every time I say I'm headed somewhere, I usually don't end up there so far, because uh, <laughs> I don't go very far, and then I end up checking places out which is fine because i've got plenty of time and you know what i'm rambling now so uh let's go Out of here. I'm here in Sweet Home, Texas. Not Sweet Home, Alabama. Sweet Home, Texas. Yeah, something like that. It just doesn't go together, does it, for the song? <laughs> anyway, this is the post office here. And there's supposed to be a building over there I'm going to go check out. And I'm going to see if there's any uh, geocaches here. Uh, but this is a little baby town. It's yeah. it's not a corporated town. So let's take a look around. Well, from outside, this looks like an abandoned building, but there's vehicles around, and I heard some noise inside. And it says uh, 1901 to 19, 1918, Valentine Brothers. Valenta, Valenta. You got the fire department there and then the post office where my bike is. This building here looks like it's been here for a while. It's got a truck parked under the uh, port there. Might have been an old gas station or uh, some kind of a store. Got a sign down on the ground. So I'm not quite sure what this is. It's got Christmas lights all over the place and an address. Maybe it's somebody's home. Well, maybe not because they got a, a dumpster there and some other stuff. Not much to sweet home, but uh, looks like a town I could live in. I just need a place to where you can gather around shoot the uh shoot the shit <laughs> which they might have somewhere you never know when they go check out down here i'm not sure what this place is but they don't have a public restroom i'm not sure what this building is it looks like another possible business they got a baseball field there and then a little swing set park type thing and then they got a community center right over there. Right there. So maybe that's where they sit around and shoot shit. Anyhow. Well, I just got through talking to a lady that uh, used to own a retail business in there. There's a bunch of stuff she's got in there that she's selling wholesale. Uh, she said this place pretty much had a, a post office, a church, a fire station, 
and a school. Go Cougars. <laughs> Pretty much it, I would guess. So I'm uh, heading out to Sweet Home and headed up towards Shanger. Interesting. Well, let's right here. I'm here in Shiner, Texas. Well, here's the brewery. Entries over here, I believe. I'll find out. Well, I got registered in. They gave me a beer. And uh, the tour starts in about 10 minutes. So, really nice people around here. Look forward to the tour. Uh, the last tour I took here was when um, I was riding this group, uh, the Southern Cruisers, and it was probably a good 20, 25 years ago. And I, uh, I think it was about 20 of us, or 25 of us, and they gave us a special tour. Uh, we got here on Sunday, which they used to not do tours, but they do now. And outside now, they do uh, bands on the weekends and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. So if you're ever in Shiner, take the tour. Now they say it's completely different, so I'm looking forward to taking it. She did tell me out here on the uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they have bands playing and uh, other things going on, which I think is pretty darn cool. Uh, there's a lot of breweries and wineries that do that here in Texas. Screen TV over there. I wonder if they showed the Cowboy game. They give you these little tokens. They give you three of them to get beers. I think they're starting to do it. being made to a box right they go out the back then they come around to the machine to the left and the machine to the right if you get over here you can stand and look back towards that machine those cartons come in the bottom and those robots pick up four six pack place them into the cartons and the cartons come out and then they come around and they go to the back to a conveyor that comes to the global pack machine Boot camp changed the organization that clips. 
funds for the wounded warriors program. Huh? Each year, since 2011, we've given over $1 million to the campaign. here hope you can hear me over the noise uh, the Sun has come out <laughs> awesome the Spetzel the K Spetzel brewery which is also known as the Shiner brewery is an awesome place to go take a tour Norman did an awesome job and uh, I was the only one in the tour nobody else was there <laughs> so I got a private tour the way I look at it anyway uh, the tour that I took 20 some odd years ago here is completely different. So if you haven't here, been here lately, uh, you should take the tour. Um, it's, it's awesome. It's very educational. This place is a big, big part of Texas history. Also during Prohibition and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, very cool. All right, I'm going to check around town here a little bit, and then I'm going to be heading south. I don't know where I'm going to stop, but we'll find out. Howdy, y'all. Uh, I'm here in Valdez, Texas, and I stopped and take a photo of this. I thought it was pretty interesting. Looks like it has something to do with the railroad local market or something so I'm not quite sure farmers market uh, it's got a bunch of neat signs up here too very cool you know it's kind of quirky I sway I got sweat So right here, I'm here at Jackson County Courthouse in Etna, Texas. Uh, let's take a look around. There's the courthouse. It's a pretty modern one. Got a couple of historical markers here. One, the uh, Confederates of Jackson County. If you want to uh, pause and read that, you can read any of these uh, historical markers. And there's another one here on Jackson County in 1861 voted for succession 147 to 77 let's see what this uh, Markle marker here is we the people of Jackson County dedicate this memorial appreciation to the man who served our country that's a veterans memorial well, this here is a uh, time capsule. That's pretty darn cool. 1882 to 2032. Not too far away. Let's walk over here and check out this marker. Uh, this is a marker for, uh, I can't even pronounce the Indian's name. I'm not even going to try because I'll certainly screw that up. Home of those Indians granted in part of Stephen E. Austin. Well, this marker here is uh, dedicated to Erwin Moore Lauder. It says here, and he was on the uh, crew of the USS, I can't pronounce that today, USS Yorktown and USS Annapolis. They still got their uh, Christmas tree up. They got some big balls. Nice little gazebo. Oh, this is the inside. We've got a little horse buggy in here. Shows 
Sheriff's Office at Oak Probation County Clerk. A uh, very sterile looking building. Well, they got court going on. So definitely ain't gonna interrupt that. That concludes my tour of Jackson County Courthouse. I was told that the uh, earlier courthouse burned down, so which is pretty typical in Texas. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to continue on my way. There's a mural uh, over that way, and then I want to get a picture of this theater. That might be good for the uh, motorcycle grand tour, so we'll check those out. Well, I got a shot of that mural, which I think will be a better spot uh, for the motorcycle grand tour. I got a shot of this theater here, too. See that background? And the uh, um, sun's facing the wrong way. So, but still, it's an easy place to park and get a photo. I'm gonna check around a little bit and then head on. Well, I had to stop and take a cool picture of this uh, butterfly here. <laughs> I got somebody to take my picture of it with me there. Howdy y'all, little star righty here. Well, I stopped at the Planet Fitness here in Victoria, Texas. Got a shower. Well, first I got exercise, massage from the chair, then got a shower, which was much needed. This is uh, going on the, uh, about two and a half days. Ooh, lights shining. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, head up to the uh, Walmart and uh, park there for the night. Uh, it's about three miles north of here, so let's head on up there and then. Howdy y'all, good morning. It's, uh, this is day six or day seven. <laughs> remember uh, I'm here in Victoria Texas at a Walmart um, parking lot had a pretty good sleep last night I'm uh, headed south today I'm always heading south today and uh, should be um, somewhere maybe Goliad today yeah I'm just waking up it's a beautiful day today too Beaut up all oh, getting tired of these cold days <laughs> maybe that's why I'm heading south yeah catch you on the road <laughs> start right of here i'm here at the fannin battleground historic site uh, let's go check it out uh, this historic site is free you just pull on in and check it out let's go see what this spot over here is 
This is this guy right here, Hughes Hanley, donated 10 acres of land for this uh, historic site to be remembered. Uh, pretty cool. Well, this right here is a power screw plate that they put in here for <laughs> remembering the location. Uh, not sure what a screw, power screw plate is. A uh, landowner, Soul Parks, uh, in 18, in 1894, uh, put the screw plate here to remember this battle and location. Prior to that, William L. Hunter, would, he was a survivor of the battle, came out here and piled rocks in this location uh, to remember location. So people would just not let uh, people forget about this battle. It's not as big as uh, the Alamo uh, or Goliad, but it certainly sparked people to come out and fight over there in San Jacinto. So very cool stuff. Well, I didn't know they had a, a bloody arm flag. Uh, that's pretty cool. This is a nice uh, marker here. Memorial for remembering these guys. You got these markers here dedicated to several different people. This particular one that's a different color is James Heath Ewell. A well, World War veteran died in France, buried in Arlington Cemetery back in 1918. Well, grounds donated by H.B. Hanley, 1914. Well, they got a historical marker over here and some, it says exhibits. I don't know if there's anybody here. Seems they had locked that stuff up. Have to see. Community and site used. Uh, you go picnicking out here. I'll let y'all read this if you want. Battlegrounds and picnic grounds. Oh, there's the restrooms, but they're uh, broke because of a water pipe. So I wonder if you can get in here. Oh, you can. Very cool. says the defeat that led to victory. This is a uh, pretty cool little exhibit. Here's that uh, bloody arm flag. You guys, you point those guns somewhere else, not towards me. Well guys, if y'all have never been out here, you need to make a point. This is uh, a lot of Texas history out here and it's pretty darn cool. Did I say it was pretty darn cool? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. I'm gonna be headed over to Goliad and uh, I'll be checking stuff out there and probably camp at the uh, Goliad Texas State Park. Catch you on the road. A long and tall with that slender groove. I love your smell and the way you move. Can I help it if I want you tonight? All right, this burger has a waffle, a meat patty, mac and cheese, an egg, grilled onions, bacon, it's definitely a breakfast burger. Um, let's see how this is going to work. And fried okra. What a combination. I'm going to cut this thing in half. Alright, let's tackle this burger. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks good. Awesome.
that's far, falling apart. This is an awesome burger. There's no way in hell I can eat all that. That was awesome and it was huge. Really, really good. So I'm right here. I'm here in Goliad, Texas at the, at the Goliad County Courthouse. Let's go check it out. Well, it looks like I'm in the back of the courthouse. I just got through eating over there. Uh, some awesome food. They got music playing throughout this square, which is really kind of cool. Cantina Restaurant. I'm going to have to try that out. Courthouse is beautiful. Some motorcycle riders over there. One of them's from Georgia. Didn't ride all the way here from Georgia though. This is a beautiful square too. Matches the courthouse. Very cool. They've got this historical marker on the Goliad Tornado of 1902. One of the two most disastrous things in Texas history struck in Goliad on Sunday, May 12, 1902. The twister touched down on the south side of the San Antonio River at 3.35 p.m. A mile long, half mile wide path across the northwest section of town and destroying over a hundred homes and leaving an official death toll of 114 people. So they had this place as a temporary hospital for the uh, the Goliad tornado of 1902. That's pretty cool. The music does good for copyright. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. Elton John. Uh, this here is a veterans memorial. Very cool. It's a nice little one here. Uh, well done. Liking the uh, flags. They've got their historical markers down towards the ground, which is kind of cool. Um, this one here, uh, this historical marker is about this tree right here. This tree right here. <laughs> it's a hanging tree. It says over 70 men were hanged from this tree. Some from immediately from the courts and mostly not from the courts. It says that a lot of uh, people were hung here because of uh, doing robberies along the, uh, the trail there. Just hang them up. Hang them. They're dead. Wow. This is a big tree. Uh, this courthouse is the fourth courthouse. And the stones of this courthouse um, are from the old courthouse, which is pretty neat. Let's go check this place out inside. That's pretty cool right off the bat. I want you to look at this woodwork here. This is absolutely awesome. They retain this from the previous court courthouses. Absolutely beautiful. This is the uh, district court courtroom. I'm liking these little uh, balconies in the corner here in the back. Pretty darn cool. Not the typical jewelry chairs over here. On a pedestal, on a swivel, these are just regular chairs. Probably more comfortable. I wonder if all these court rooms have to have this same chair. Uh, big, huge chair. Probably good to take naps in too. Not saying they take naps in theirs. <laughs> these handles for the door or standard all over and those are pretty cool. This looks like a jewelry room and a break room and whatever else. It's a little bitty elevator. Yep, the small one. 
Don't want to get stuck in this one. All right, made it out safe. Restoration 2003. This is Santa Ana's Surrender Ratified. A historical marker. Okay, this marker is for veterans from World War I, and they have names down, uh, probably from this county. And the other one was World War II, over there. Yeah, we've got a couple more historic markers here. Uh, regulatories, regulators of the Goliad County. This other one is Don Raphael Antoine Machola, Manchola. Guys, if you are ever in this area, you got to stop at the courthouse, check it out. It is gorgeous. And also eat at the Water Well Cafe. Awesome food. I couldn't finish it all, it's so good. Absolutely. Uh, I'm headed over to the uh, state park and I'm gonna stay there tonight, if they allow me. <laughs> if they have any spots, didn't reserve. I never do reserve. Um, I'm usually pretty lucky about it. <clears throat> the Texas State Parks, that is. Alrighty, catch you on the road. Willis <laughs> Gun Shop in Texas, here again. Goliad, Texas. Pretty awesome. Well, the Lilith Gun Shop in Texas, which that's the actual name of this place. Uh, Pat, he's a judge here at the uh, uh, JP, and Robert works here also, and those guys are awesome. Shop. Very cool, if you're ever in town, check it out. Tell them Lone Star Rider said hello. All right, now I'm gonna head over to the uh, state park. Catch you on the road. Howdy y'all, it's all right here. I'm here at Goliad, Texas State Park. Um, got here after registration was closed. Today was an awesome day for riding. Gorgeous day. Met some awesome people today. The courthouse is awesome. The state park is awesome. And I'm not through here, so I might stay another night. I've got to check my schedule and see maybe what happens. And if they have a place for me to stay. <laughs> I was going to ask at registration. And I guess I could look online and see. You never... Texas State Parks Online Reservations software website sucks. Sorry, Texas State Parks. But otherwise, they're great. Oh, there's one more thing. If I'm going to rant about the Texas State Parks. Might as well rant about their, you should, all, everybody that's in Texas and goes to Texas State Parks should get a Texas State Park pass. They're $70 for the year. They're ugly. <laughs> well, not totally ugly. They were more uglier than this before, but they're still ugly. Um, unlike, the National Park Pass. Those are gorgeous cards. Yeah, gorgeous cards. Uh, in a heartbeat, I'll s rip this out of the wallet and show it to you because it looks nice. Um, I've been a member, or I've had, I don't know if it's a membership. I've had a Texas State Park Pass forever. I've had them so long, they used to have pretty pictures on the front. They decide to get rid of it. I don't know for cost or whatever, but my personal opinion is, is it's not that. If they're gonna print something like this, they can print a nice pretty picture. Anyway, just a uh, little rant of mine. That's enough ranting. Anyhow, today's awesome. It was great. <laughs> Had a great ride. 
uh, these parks, uh, usually the, sh the ones with the shelter are more expensive. Uh, this one is $25, and normally that's how much it costs to stay anywhere from $15 to $25, uh, depending where they put me. And the park pass takes care of the uh, entry fee, so it's pretty cool. But these shelters, usually, if you get a shelter, they cost more money. Well, they don't cost any more money than parking over at the... Uh, where you get electric and water. You get electric and water here too. You just get a shelter. Not as big of a spot to park if you got an RV. So, <sighs> Am I just rambling? I think I'm just rambling. Well, I'm gonna close out this day. Um, awesome day. Had a great ride. Uh, I think tomorrow is day seven. Yeah, tomorrow's day seven of my heading south ride. <laughs> heading to where it's warmer ride. Because I don't have any events scheduled. Nothing's going on. If you guys are not subscribed to me, y'all should be. Click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell. And you'll get an email notification that I've uploaded a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch you on the road here in Goliad, Texas State Park. Or Goliad County, Goliad City. That's where I'm at. Goliad is an awesome town. You should come. I'm here in Hollitzville. I'm here in Hollitz... Holler... Hollitzville? Hollitzville. 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 Howdy y'all. Well, let's go right here. I'm here in Shiner, Texas. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to be headed over to Galley, Goliad, Galley. Got a historical marker here on the uh, Gladio, Gladio, Goliad Tornadia, Tornadia. <laughs> uh, they <laughs> got this, uh, got this historic, ah! They got this historical marker on the Goliad Tornado. Tornado. So let's start this over. They've got the, um, the, um, the, uh, the, uh, is that a real word? The, uh, today's a bad day to talk. <laughs>